Well, hurricane season now just three weeks away, and that means just three weeks to prepare your home and family. News 8's Ken Pierce, live in News 8 Control this midday. Ken, looks like the, uh, the experts are already preparing. Yeah, Keith, that's right. The Red Cross cut the ribbon on a new emergency response vehicle this morning, just in time for the start of hurricane season on June 1st. They're getting ready, and local emergency responders want you to get ready, too. Retractable ramps, just one of many features on a new emergency response vehicle for the American Red Cross. It's been set up for food delivery, um, client casework, um, bulk distribution, everything we need in a disaster. It's the kind of thing you hope you never need, but it's good to have. A grant from the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving paid for the rig. This is a, a vehicle that was actually designed by volunteers for volunteers. So it's got features designed to make those volunteers more comfortable and efficient. Hidden shelving, a lot of storage space. If this vehicle were deployed to the current big national disaster, it would be at the flooding in Missouri. They'd pull up to a flooded neighborhood, start serving hot meals right out of this window here. Of course, it's going to be used here in Connecticut as well. They're always prepared for disasters around here, and you should be prepared for those disasters as well. By taking the time and preparing properly, it makes for a much smoother transition when a, a storm is approaching. This is Hurricane Preparedness Week, and Milford has been hit hard by past storms. Experts say make a kit and a plan. That kit should include three days' worth of food and water per person in case of a bad storm. Also, any prescription medication and important papers. Important insurance documents are very important because if your home suffers any form of damage, you may not be able to get back in the home to re retrieve these items. And plan ahead where to go if you have to evacuate. You don't want to rely on the Red Cross, but at least you know they have the best equipment. The seats, this could actually transport. They both have seat belts. Okay. Um, these could rotate around 45 degree angles. Um, computer, serving food. Uh, there's a lot of things we could do here to help people. Impressive vehicle. Meanwhile, the local, state, and federal governments all have emergency prep guides available online to keep you, your loved ones, and your home safe. We've got several links for you to check out on our website, WTNH.com. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, over to you.